evening. I'm Rodney Dunnigan in for Adam Slinger tonight. We have a lot of news to get to tonight. First, let's start off with the latest numbers from the state. More than 2,500 people have tested positive for the virus. The number of dead is at 65. The governor also made a few orders today in response to the rise in cases. He's urging lending companies and landlords to suspend payments to help small business owners. And Dr. Amy Acton signing an order that will require hospitals that can't test for the virus to work with a hospital that can. We also know another order is expected tomorrow that could possibly involve churches across the state. Haley Nelson leading off our team coverage tonight and Stacia, this is good news. Dr. Acton says just a fraction of people will get sick if we keep following social distancing protocols. Tara Morgan at the State House for us tonight and Tara, she seemed pretty positive about these new numbers. Today, Governor DeWine also spoke about the passing of 55 year old John Dawson, an officer at the Marion Correctional Institution. On new tonight at five, some major cuts at the area's tourism board experience Columbus. People staying home means drastic budget cuts. Kaylee Gunderson tells us almost 90% of that staff had to be cut. And tonight we're also learning a lot more about Patel's plans to help those medical workers on the front lines. Jeff Reddick getting an inside look at the life-saving operation. And as cases of the virus continue to rise, minority communities have been hit hard. Health experts say the big problem is access to care. Jesse Starkey taking a deeper look tonight. Disease detectives tracking COVID-19. Sounds like something out of a movie, but that's exactly what they're called. 37 people in Franklin County are under isolation orders tonight, and Franklin County Public Health is ramping up its response as this virus spreads. Investigator Tara Morgan with a deeper look tonight. We're also learning tonight that churches could be the next target of the governor's orders. Listen to what he says about churches not following regulations. That May 1st deadline to start reopening the state just two weeks away. The governor says that it won't be a quick process and he's telling business owners to plan ahead. Kaylee Gunderson following that side of the story for many people need to continue working to help everyone get through this pandemic. Some are getting getting sick, trying to keep grocery stores full or hospitals clean. Senior political reporter Ben Garbrick tells us about a new plan to help them during this crisis. We're on your side tonight with some very important information. Are you stressed out? Well, there are plenty of apps out there that claim to help. The big question is, do they actually work? Kaylee Gunderson live in the newsroom to break it all down for us tonight. Kaylee. The governor also addressing the statewide issue of testing this afternoon, calling some of the turnaround times of private labs simply unacceptable. Jesse Starkey has more on the new order and the impact that it could have on local health departments. Over the past few weeks, we've heard so many stories from athletes around the country who had their seasons cut short due to the coronavirus outbreak. Among those heartbreaking stories, Drew Casper, a wrestler at Otterbein University. Clay Hall spoke with him about a journey that ended far too soon. Of this all coming at the right time for a lot of folks in this community who really need it. Now the focus is on seniors who in many cases have no family, no help and no money and are struggling to find out how they plan to make it from one day to the next. We're trying to find the best ways to get them uh, things that they desperately need. Cindy Farson and her team at the Central Ohio Area Agency on Aging hard at work ensuring local seniors have the essentials they need during this tough stretch. It's just critical that these services continue with older adults. The organization offers resources to the elderly. They're needed now more than ever. Getting good news this week, receiving a high dollar grant from Aetna, funding that will help with the immediate needs of Central Ohio seniors. We're talking food assistance, help with rent, household items, prescriptions, toiletries, and home repairs. You name it. If you're at home, you're at risk. You're certainly not getting out to grocery stores. The hope is to help many who may otherwise be forgotten. And this grant is a part of a million dollar fund put together by CVS Health to address food and security and other community needs in response to issues families may be going through as a result of the coronavirus outbreak. For more information about how you can get that help if you need it, simply head on over to our website. You can find all the information there. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Rodney Dunnigan, 6 on your side. This partnership is one of a kind. Coleman Columbus, the American Cancer Society of Ohio and Pelotonia all uniting to help cancer patients during this pandemic. We're all used to seeing that sea of pain. I have uh, co-workers, friends, family who have been touched by cancer. The Coleman Race for the Cure, raising awareness and funds for research. 44 riders this year. Pelotonia, also one of Central Ohio's major events, spotlighting the need for research. Everybody has been touched by cancer in one way or another. Work and research by these groups and the American Cancer Society, key for many survivors like Steve Falkert. It, uh, 
It saved my life. In the midst of the coronavirus pandemic, these three groups teaming up to save more lives. Julie McMahon, executive director of Coleman Columbus, explaining to us the collaboration will focus on access to treatment, continuing research, and funding support. Cancer affects thousands and thousands of people in our community every year, uh, and it will continue to do that. It's not going to slow down because of this virus. The idea, she says, is to ensure cancer patients, along with their caregivers, can continue to get the valuable, life-saving resources they need. In fact, we know already of a lot of patients who have had to skip treatments or don't have access to something that could have you know, prolonged their life because it's been interrupted by this virus. So we're doing everything we can. Each year, thousands of people are diagnosed with cancer here in Central Ohio. Just as an example, this year alone, Coleman Columbus is on track to serve more than 4,000 women. So the need for their work is great. To see the full plan of this partnership and the steps that each group is taking to address the needs of the community, head on over to our website. That's abc6onyourside.com. You'll see a full rundown of everything you need to know. Rodney Dunnigan, ABC6 News.